All right, everybody. I just wanted to go over something that uh, has come up uh, with the people that I talk to, with my buyers and my sellers, and that is it's okay to be confused by the NAR settlement. Uh, it, it doesn't make any sense, okay? And what happened is, is you got this settlement and then you got all these headlines in newspapers saying that commissions are gonna get cut and you're never gonna have to pay as a seller's, uh, on the seller side, you're never gonna have to pay any concessions or commissions or anything like that and that the buyers are only gonna pay their side. And it, and, it, and, it, and it just, it was not lies, okay? But it really hasn't been any different than what it has always been. Uh, for example, you could always list your house flat fee on the MLS, okay, for a price. Okay, that wasn't, that wasn't new. And a buyer could always be unrepresented to buy a house. There was never a time when the buyer was required to be uh, represented. So, you have that problem and then you have a secondary problem and this is where I think it comes in um, even bigger. No one at the DOJ is a real estate agent. They're not a real estate broker and they're not even in our industry. They have no idea what goes on in a real estate transaction. They went to a nice Ivy League school. Uh, they did their homework. Uh, they they you know did, did all the right things. They knew all the right people and now they work as a, an attorney for the DOJ. Um, that's great for them and I'm, I'm, I'm happy for them, but, but they've never really had to make a dime uh, off of real estate. They've never ever had to sell a home. They've never had to buy a home. They've never had to represent anyone uh, in that capacity. And so they had no idea what they were doing, uh, which makes you wonder like how many other things are screwed up, like they've screwed up this uh, NAR settlement. But just for this video, I just want you to understand, look, there are rule changes. It does make, it does make doing transactions more difficult, okay? And it's okay to be confused. Even people in the real estate business right now are confused. Uh, and it, we can go through as much training as you want to, but when you're trying to teach people uh, new methods that make no sense and aren't grounded in reality, they're always going to be confused because it, it absolutely makes no sense. So my advice to you is if you are thinking about listing your home soon, if you're thinking about buying a home soon, Talk to your agent, ask them the questions. You know, don't be afraid to ask the questions that you've uh, come up with or when you've seen a headline somewhere about the settlement. Don't be afraid to ask. Uh, make sure their answers are satisfactory to you, at least that it makes sense, and then move on uh, with the transaction. Uh, this is gonna go on for a while. I don't think anyone really ever anticipated the uh, level of complexity that it that there is to really buy or sell a house. You can make it really, really difficult. You can make it really, really simple. But when you've changed the rules uh, as they've been for the last 25 or 30 years, um, no one's really gonna really have an edge there. No one's really gonna understand uh, the new way the game will be played. It's, it's the law of unintended consequences. So, you know, it doesn't matter what I think about the settlement because I'm not able to change it in my position. There's nothing I can do tomorrow to make things better for anyone, okay? I can only do what, what I can do with what I've been given and I'm, I'm within this space and I will do what the, the law tells me to do. And that's, that's all I can do. So anyway, don't feel bad that you don't understand what's going on. Even though you're well-read, it's okay. It, I mean, it's what's being said is uh, very, very confusing, very, very confusing. And uh, if it's difficult for you on the outside, imagine what many real estate agents are dealing with right now. Uh, so that's all I have for today. I just wanted to point that out to you. Uh, thank you for watching and I will catch you soon.